Hey, what's up guys? This is Milo here. Today I'm going to show you how to create an overhead camera mount for a GoPro or a DSLR camera. Let's go! Okay, so I made this on a budget. I think uh, the total cost is probably 20 bucks. Um, some of the things you'll need is a, it's a work lamp. One of these work lamps I picked this up at Ikea for uh, $12.99. It's very inexpensive. Um, it's called a Tertial. Uh, Tertial from Ikea is very inexpensive. They always have it. And uh, it's a flexible style, so you can adjust the height and all that stuff. Um, picked that up at Ikea. Some of the other things, uh, some of these washers. So M8 washers. There, uh, you can find them at any hardware store, or you might have some of those laying around. They're not nothing fancy, nothing special. Um, so these flat washers here, drop them. And you would also need some of these uh, GoPro accessories. So this three-way pivot point adapters uh, for the GoPro. You can buy those on Amazon, or you know, they're they're pretty cheap anyway. Um, make sure you have those screws as well. And let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is obviously take it out of the bag, um, get your uh, your lamp out. Uh, you'll notice that the cord it's on the inside, it's right on the inside of the frame. So you want to do is you want to cut this off, cut the wire right off the head of the lamp, and then uh, you're gonna try to gently pull it off um, towards the back. Cause you can just pull it from here. Just keep pulling until uh, it comes out of the first section. There it might be a little hard. Sometimes it's really stuck on there, but it's coming out. There we go. Good. So now the bottom piece, it's the same idea. It's just ran through the main, um, uh, what do you call it, the frame of the lamp. So you can just pull it out all the way through. Uh, there we go. So we pull it out. Once it's all the way out, then now you have your uh, mount free of any wires or anything like that. Um, so you can just throw that out, whatever. Also there. Um, so there it is. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's a, it's a pretty cool lamp. Now we want to do is we want to remove you know the head because we don't want to use it as a lamp. We want to use it as a mount for a camera. So we want to take that piece out. That's where the bulb will go. Um, so we're going to take this knot off um, and just make sure you don't lose any of the pieces because this uh, this uh, yeah you will need a little bit later. So just save that knot there. And then you can push the uh, you can push that uh, screw out just like so. Let's just get this out here. Um, so it's stuck in here. Okay, here we go. It's coming out. Oh, there's a little washer there. Again, make sure you keep all the parts uh, on the head of the of the lamp. So there's the, the screw. It's got a little. I don't know if you can see this, but it's got a little bit of a um, square on the top of the head, and that just goes in there and sits nicely, just so it doesn't slide. Uh, when you go to tighten it, right? So now you can go ahead and pop this off. It should just come up fairly simple. Just apply a little force, a little pressure here. And there we go. So now it's out. Um, you don't need to keep any of these accessories. I mean, you could use uh, this plastic piece if you wanted to. But I'd rather use the screws because they will tend to last a little bit. Or sorry, the washers because they'll last a little bit longer than just the plastic pieces, right? So now we got our washers and all our components here. So what we want to do is we want to fit that through. But to do that, we want to make sure the washers fit inside the pivot mount, right? So we're going to do one in the middle there. And then um, on the edges of this bracket, there's just little grooves on there where the washer will just sit perfectly in there. Let me just move my fingers out of the way so you can see. Um, but it just sits on the little uh, lip, if you want to call it. Um, and then you want to do, do that on both sides. You want to make sure... Um, oops, so I dropped this. Um, this might take me a little bit here. Just lining up everything up, but oh, I dropped it again. But you want to make sure the washers are on both sides of the bracket. Jesus, let's just see if there's a better way of doing this. Okay, so I finally got it all in here. As you can see, 
Um, you got the three washers, so there's one in the middle, and then uh, the two on the sides there. Just focus, there we go, focus the camera. Um, so it doesn't matter if you've got a little bit of play on the inside, um, just because when you go to tighten it, it can actually um, be a little more um, sturdy. Um, so we want to put the screw back on, put that on the, on the right side there with the, with the notches for the square piece. Um, and then just put it all the way in. Then you want to grab your um, your washer on the other side and put that on there. Then you grab your nut, your nut piece of out, and you want to make sure it's tightened. You don't want to tighten too much um, right now. And obviously, if you go over tightening this plastic components, you know this GoPro uh, pivot mounts they, they might crack. Um, if you want to add a second washer in the middle there, that's fine. But I just think uh, if you have a little flexibility, it might make it easier for movement and stuff like that when you have your camera on. So then now you can put your, your third uh, or your second uh, pivot uh, adapter there. And that's where your camera will sit, right? And then you got movement up and down and uh, left and right, basically. So you just use the, uh, just the regular screw. Uh, that came with the GoPro accessories. It'll just go right in there, right in here. Or you can use uh, whatever adapter you need, depending on the camera, right? And so I'm gonna try to find, I wanna try to find a different adapter um, just in case you were using a DSLR camera, but I, I don't think I have one that would work. Um, I only have the GoPro accessories, but if you are able to find one, um, just a regular adapter um, for a DSLR with a screw on the bottom uh, that's what you would use then but on this case we'll just use uh, just use the regular screw that came with the GoPro and the uh, extra pivot adapter um, and then we'll, we'll try to mount the, the GoPro on there so you can see exactly what it, what it can do um, but once you get this in here there we go so as you can see, you can actually, um, you know, go different ways, left and right, up and down, like I said. And then uh, that's basically what your uh, mount, your new overhead camera mount would do for you, right? So you've got your uh, mount there, you set your GoPro right on there. Or like I said, if you've got the uh, adapter for the DSLR camera, it'll, it can go right on there. Basically, you can go as many as you, as you want that point it doesn't matter how long you need it okay so I grabbed uh, I grabbed my GoPro and I installed the uh, clamp style bracket that it comes with the uh, with the lamp um, and I'm just gonna see if I can get a better shot here there we go it's uh, a little bit better much better yep okay so as you can see he goes up and down You've got all your movement, all the movement you want uh, to be able to, you know, face the camera down, uh, and then the mount actually moves in all the directions that you want, right? Um, so this uh, clamp style bracket, it just clips on to the lip, where you can screw it down. It's got little holes in there. We can screw it on. Then let's put the GoPro on there. I'm using the uh, Hero Plus. Uh, camera it does come with the uh, the case already mounted or the camera's already mounted on the case you can't take it off uh, so the little attachments at the bottom and then uh, there it is you can set your camera down you know move it around bring it up down whatever you want to do and you can have some pretty cool overhead shots now and so here's the final product guys um, like I said this costs $12.99 at Ikea and uh, it gives you a pretty cool pretty sturdy overhead camera mount um, you know for those shots where you want to do you know maybe like a food food video um, you know you can even take this to the garage if you want to do cool car uh, tutorials um, it's pretty lightweight, so it doesn't really um, break anything. It's, it's, it's not going to damage anything anyway. So, um, so here's some uh, sample pictures of, 
what it looks like. So if you guys like this video, make sure uh, you hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks very much. We'll see you later.